Okay, this is uh, Duncan Foley and we're going to do a tutorial on uh, Flexim. Uh, we'll be using Flexim 2020. Uh, this tutorial is going to look at the, some of the uh, financial analysis features that uh, Flexim has. Uh, I'm not going to read through uh, the whole of the tutorial and stuff, but we will be looking at uh, or introducing uh, things like fisc um, fixed cost and variable costs and um, and revenue. Um, so the scenario we've got uh, uh, here is, uh, in this example, we'll take a very simplistic look at the cost of running a, a small spray uh, painting department with four types of cars coming in for a production line. And uh, we're going to check and store uh, line and are checked and stored before being sprayed. So we're going to do a very quick model uh, and um, and see how it goes. Uh, we will be using um, the pause feature uh, every now and again just to speed the video up, so you're not uh, seeing all the laborious stuff that I'm doing. Okay, let's go to uh, Flex Sim, uh, start a new model. Okay, so um, let's have a look. Let's change our model from seconds to minutes. Say so, okay. Uh, create a, a source, a queue, a processor, and a sync. Add them up a little bit, put them closer together. Let's join them together using an A key. Try that again. There we go. Let's go to the source. Uh, let's leave the um, inter-arrival time as uh, exponential 10. Let's go to the triggers option and um, on creation. Uh, and let's set label I'm going to change it from type to uh, car type and we know that uh, we've got four of those we'll leave it as done uniform uh, click down here and apply Okay. So it's created a uh, blank um, dashboard. Um, it's going to get quite busy as that dashboard, I think. So let's just move that there. And then. Uh, You'll notice that the menus change down the side depending on which uh, window I'm looking at. So I'm looking in the modeling window. So we've got the library. If we go to the um, oh, sorry, uh, the uh, the dashboard. The library changes uh, t t for the features of the uh, the window I've selected. So now I'm going to uh, drag the uh, financial analysis. Uh, let's have a look. Financial analysis. If you're struggling finding anything, you can all, always type it in at the top. So financial and out, there we go. So if I drag that and put it in here, we get the pop-up window. Let's uh, click on here and uh, actually what we'll do is just um, Gonna get give some of these uh, better names. So that Q is really our stores area. Apply. Okay. 
Uh, source is our production line. Our processor is the um, paint station. And finally, our sink is uh, where we declare the revenue. So these are the products we're finished. So um, revenue. Clear revenue. Okay, let's apply that. Okay. Uh, so let's uh, add the uh, the stores, the paint station, and the declare re revenue to our financial analysis window. Let's go back to our stores. And, and so. 100, um, I think we're currently, let's just go to currently in dollars, let's just change that to um, pounds. It's 100 pounds. And that, that is coming from the uh, production line. And it's going to be the car type. So it's going to look for the car type. And we're going to get an amount of one fixed value. Let's to go to the pay station now and set that up. So uh, uh, fixed cost for the paint station is 200. And we have a, a time statement of that as well. And let's just, but what we do know is we have two car types, car type um, one to three. Oh, sorry. Tab doesn't, uh, we've got one to three. Um, uh, Amount uh, per, per entry is 10 and car type 4 is slightly different. Let's just uh, make sure that everything's okay here. Um, yeah, that should be fine. And then the uh, the sink. Let's add car type again, um, and the amount is uh, going to be minus 100 because uh, this is profit. So uh, everything we've 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 been looking at so far has been uh, how much things are going to be costing us. But actually, when when a car uh, gets to the sink, uh, we, we're getting some money back. Now let's apply that and say OK. Let's set the model to run um, for, for a day. And when reset and run. Speed it up a little bit. So things, fixed costs, um, there whether we, we use them or not, are the things uh, cost us for when we use them. 
And uh, just everything's costing us at the moment. And we're going into the red, uh, which is sort of a, a negative thing thing here. If you, it sort of seems bad that, but that, what that means is uh, we're getting enough uh, flow items through our model. Um, so we've got um, our uh, fixed cost, the value is added once uh, when the model is uh, reset. So after. So when we reset, when we looked at um, we've got 300, and that comes from the the fixed cost of the stores and the fixed cost of the paint station. So that's where you get your 300 from, 100 and 200. Uh, uh, the uh, um, amount per Per time, this value is the uh, is continuing out as the model runs. A value of uh, one would mean at the time 50, the total time value for the object will be 50. Therefore, uh, running costs of the paint station. So if we go back to the paint station, uh, even if nothing is happening, is the amount per time, which is uh, two pounds per minute. And the uh, uh, the value of uh, 960, and um, because we ran the um, the model for 480. Another way of looking at this, uh, it makes it a little bit easier for you. Is press reset instead of pressing run, press step, and what will happen is it will jump to the next event so you can see as soon as the uh, the first object appears things are already costing us so it's cost us for uh, uh, the fixed costs and uh, for just simply going through the stores there's a cost there so the um, so my time says uh, 36 minutes and and 20 seconds. Uh, the fixed cost is 300, as as it would be all, all the time. We've got um, a cost value of uh, two pounds for every minute. So two times 36.2 is 72 pounds uh, 40. Uh, but the floor items fixed cost is um, is 10. So, let's have a look. Yeah. Um, so, let's just click on here, just to make it a little bit. Where are we going here? So, because this box is a number one, uh, the, the amount uh, is, is 10. Um, let's have a look. So, uh, so if we press the button again, again, then um, so that we've got uh, the, uh, we've got one object to go through the um, uh, declare revenue, the, the sink. Um, you'd have thought it would have given us a hundred. Uh, but we had the uh, ten pounds uh, to make it, so this is where we get the uh, the red ninety. And sometimes uh, using the step feature rather than the just a standard run uh, can help you uh, understand things a little bit more. Let's just carry on and run it straight through. So we do um, so we made thirty five cars and uh, we made a, a reasonable profit there. Uh, you might get slightly different numbers for certain things depending on uh, the variables uh, used, but um, hopefully uh, that's been useful to you. Um, and um, uh, I would expect 
uh, when when you get to doing uh, your own models and stuff that you start looking at the uh, financial analysis of the model rather than just looking for bottlenecks and stuff. Okay, uh, thanks a lot.